the domain of ethics and morality is how are we in the world and what, how should we be, what's the good and the reason I'm telling you all this, apart from the fact that you should know it because this is what you should know if you go through university is that it bears directly on issues of health you're trying to accomplish something, say if you go see a psychotherapist you know, you could say, well I'm trying to get healthy but you know, that's not really right, what you're trying to do when you go see a therapist is get your life together and that's not the same thing, you know, like mostly when I'm acting as a therapist, it's not like I'm directly treating mental disorder like mental disorders aren't, they're just not neat little boxes it's not like someone has a fully functioning life but they have an anxiety disorder and then you bring them and you treat the anxiety disorder and they go back to their fully functioning life it's, like, it's not like that at all the disorder is tangled out into their life, you know, if you're depressed well, usually your, your workplace isn't going very well and your relationships with the people around you are damaged and, you know you're connected in the actual world with all of these things and so when you come to see a therapist you have to work on putting your life together in a sustainable manner and that's certainly not just removing the mental illness it's very rare, now and then you see someone who's depressed whose life is together and they're just depressed, something's gone wrong probably biochemically and so with someone like that you can often give them SSRIs I can't give them to them, but I can recommend them recommend they go see a doctor anyways and uh, that sometimes just does the trick because, you know, their life is actually pretty good they just can't see it, but that's bloody rare, man it's usually the case that someone comes and sees you and things are in a serious state of chaos and all of that has to be addressed and some of it's psychological and a lot of it's just practical, it's embedded out there in the world um, that's what the behavior psycho behavioral psychologists are particularly concerned about so anyways, psychology, especially the clinical end, is predicated on necessarily predicated on the, uh, the question, how is it that we obtain the good? how do we aim at the good? and what would that be? when my clients first come to see me, one of the things I often ask them is ok, well let's say you look a year ahead, what do you want? what are we aiming at? What would, what would, your life isn't the way you want it to be how would it look if it was the way you wanted it to be? or at least partly that way then we aim at that, right? we look for impediments psychological impediments, fears avoidance strategies, that sort of thing and we develop strategies and we try to move towards that I would say ideal 